everyone I am back today to do a little chat video so um, I have been really poorly for almost four weeks now and I have tried as best as I can to do videos and keep content coming up um, but this horrible bug that I've got has got the better of me uh, but I wanted to just do a quick chatty video and explain uh, how I am going to be using my Lux Tim 1917 for next year. So I'll flip to the front cover and you might notice that this is not the bullet journal that I have been using so far. It's actually a different bullet journal. It's one in emerald green. Uh, I'm sorry, I do apologise for my voice sounding very bizarre. Uh, but I got this emerald green dotted bullet journal and the reason I have changed is because I am just going to be using this particular book for monthly spreads and weekly spreads because I was finding that having my daily to-do list was actually more confusing here so I've decided this is just going to be for um, my monthly view and my weekly view so this is one that I downloaded myself from uh, planner problem 101 the problem that I have is I use the bullet journal and it's way smaller than an Erin Condren so I will always have to tweak whichever kits I get for the monthly views so I'll always have to either make my own or adapt the ones that I download so this is my January spread and I love it so much I love that it's glitzy and a little bit glamorous for 2017 perhaps that's how I'm feeling right now I'm feeling like I want to be glamorous and have everything together so this is my January spread and I haven't filled lots of it out yet um, I've put the main things in so obviously it's my little girl's birthday next week she's going to be three um, so my little girl is three on Friday next week and then we've got the party on Saturday um, I don't know how much planning I'm going to get done next week because my children are off. So obviously Abby goes to nursery and uh, she goes two days a week and James goes to school. But he is not back until the 9th and I haven't written that in so I can do that now. Um, so that's pretty much everything there. We're taking James to see Marvel Live on the 28th, but not a whole lot else is going on. So I still need to fill out the events, like parties and, and the bits and pieces there, write in my zones. Um, and then these ones here are for social media. And I just put number one in there, which is a really random place to put it, but I couldn't bear having the whole spread made even smaller because I needed to have another uh, day. It would have made way more sense if I'd have put uh, the first there because obviously the first is a Sunday. But it doesn't bother me um, because it's just the aesthetics are more important than having um, the day that when I know that actually nothing is going on on the 1st of January um, so it actually works well having five separate sections for social media so I've got um, the two blogs that I'm doing and then the three YouTube uh, posting days there so that's January and then this week here, I have been so excited to use this kit. So it's from Ellie Beth Designs and it's Winter Butterfly. And it's a glossy kit. And I think I've only ever used a glossy kit once before, which was for the big meat um, spread. And this kit is just gorgeous. So my daughter is three and she is a massive Frozen fan. And this kit just made me think of Elsa. I obviously know that the queen down here, this uh, lady here, has got dark hair. And Elsa and my daughter, come to mention it, both have yellow hair. But it still made me think of Elsa. So this was the setup that I uh, created. So pretty standard for me. 
thankful thoughts up at the top here. Um, a snowflake is a winter's butterfly. Um, my zone cleaning. Personal, so anything that I'm doing for the vintage planner, but I'm not being um, too optimistic about what I will get done next week with the children off. Um, more than, more likely than not, I'll get nothing done. Um, but we live in hope. So uh, Monday, some laundry, perhaps get the food shop done, clean the pigs, uh, because my husband will be off that day, so I will have some help. Tuesday he'll be back to work. Um, I'll probably go and have lunch with my mum. I need to pick up my repeat prescription. Wednesday do some cleaning. Uh, we've all got the dentist at nine o'clock in the morning, which is in Manchester City Centre. So that will take up a good portion of the day. Thursday Abby's in nursery. I need to get two cakes, one for nursery and one for her party on the Saturday. I need to get some presents for party games. Um, I need to take the Christmas decorations down. So um, Abby was born on Twelfth Night. So we always know that the 5th is the absolute latest that we can get our decorations down. Because come the 6th, then it's all about her and Christmas is, is done. So uh, the 6th is her birthday. And I just thought that this little sleigh with a big pile of presents was the perfect sticker to put on her birthday uh the seventh and eighth i love having this style of weekend i've done it a couple of times before and i just think it's so much fun so that's what i've done there i've put the lady in the center the weekend banner at the top and then the uh like heart checklist if you like on either side and then I've put her party there and then I don't know of anything that's going on in the 8th yet. And then here just some notes. So some things to buy, things to do, orders that I'm expecting, anything to remember next week and places to go. And that is pretty much it for that week. I'm super happy with how that's turned out. So basically, as I said, it will just follow on so the following week will be here and so on and so on and then you will just come to February and that is how I'm going to use this book and I think that that will work really well for me and have my other things my lists will just go in my collections and um, my to do list will go in my daily to do booklet and this is going to make things a lot simpler for me so and I will do another video where I talk about the setup that I have settled on, my settled setup video, uh, where I will upload that and I will talk you through the two planners that I am using for next year. But for now, I will leave this video here. Say thank you so much for watching as ever, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.